Good death from above, stuns up both. Ema King now not in a good position at all. Leon off towards the side. He tries to use that A ability to get himself away, but he gets stunned. Will he be able to escape with the fountain? No, but Bulwark isn't enough to save him. And Ponchik and SK Gaming pick up their third kill for this matchup. Now Leon off in front, way too far in front. Impale comes down. Iraqi Zoro now the target does have that Suri strike, but doesn't really have anywhere to go, and he'll get taken out again. It's almost, the, it is actually the ace there. He's kept those resonance bounces on as many people as possible, and he's been doing that really well, relying on Rafi. Oh my gosh, that. So much damage onto Iraqi Zoro. Wait for it comes out as well. Leon is still alive and has a huge amount of damage. The Impale comes out, the tension bow damage is absolutely immense. And Iraqi Zoro not being in lane because of Doofy. Oh, yeah, there's oh, the it's Part of me is concerned about Iraqi Zoro not being on <laughs> at the fold agent from Gangstar Cerberus. And now they can start pushing again the Impale onto Leon. He can't really run anywhere. But will manage to keep himself alive. And now SK are trying to re engage onto Leon. They get the impale, they get the root, but Iraqi Zoro is still on full HP. Leon is down, cream down as well. Rap the target almost goes out of the fight. Isn't quite enough to take it. And once again, they go for the fight. Cream is well in front of his team here, and the death from above will take him out. SK need to retreat. Iraqi Zoro will not let them for now, though. He's going to try and chase this one down. Ponchik is low. He takes a full full barrage. The Suri Strike comes out, and Gangstar Cerberus are getting the hell out of SK Gaming now. Suri Strike once again. Raph gets taken down. He's coming at a lot, and there's a lot of the, the kind of the strategy coming up from SK is dependent on whether or not Raph lands that impale or not. Iraqi Zoro is absolutely huge. He took a turret down and then picked up Cream, managed to escape from Ponchik as well. Once again goes on to Iraqi Zoro, he gets stunned up, a good blast tremor will stop him from being able to retreat, but the fountain comes out and now Iraqi Zoro can re-engage and Cream is dead already. Iraqi Zoro doing all the damage for his team, he jumps onto Rap as well, Ema King's gonna chase down Ponchik. Iraqi Zoro jumped the impale does not connect and now they should be able to retreat from this one. Leon off towards the side and it's another kill for the NA transfer. He's cleaning up house here and SK are on the retreat once again. Rap has nowhere to go. In fact, he's all very low on HP, but the Imperial Sigil will be enough. Yeah, this isn't looking too good for SK because Iraqi Zoro and Leon good positions. Oh, that impale. Yeah, lots of damage onto Iraqi Zoro. He tries to retreat off towards the side. The Blast Tremor comes down, but Cream is already dead. Now Leon's gonna run away. He gets healed up by, healed up by Ema King. Illot not gonna be able to escape. Kraken is pounding away on these turrets. There's only one crystal turret left here for SK, and I don't think they're gonna be able to defend it. Raph tries to jump in, can't catch out Iraqi Zoro. The turret goes down, only Ponchik left alive versus three members of Gangstar Cerberus, and it's gonna be the game for Gangstars. They pick up this first game of the week three of the Evil 8 best of three here between them and SK. Cream is not in a good position at all. He dodges the ultimate, but then he comes back and hits him off the side. He's constantly in their faces. Oh, that. Oh, good force to call onto Cream. And Cream isn't even six yet. He gets taken out once again for 20 damage. The SK are getting into big team fights, and once again, it's going to happen. They'll get the turret here. Iraqi Zoro, gorgeous stun with the From Hell's Heart onto Rat. Now Cream is low, and here comes Leon. Can he take down Illuhart? The fountain has been used. Illuhart's going to try and retreat. Rat after burns away. Great little fight here for SK. Leon does get knocked away and they manage to pick up one at the time. Falls the corner to three though and look at the damage coming down. The cripple is huge. The polite company as well. Cream will get taken out by Leon. They're going to try and chase Raph off to down Ponchuk as well. And now Leon chasing Raph underneath these turrets once again. The weakness stacks are enough and Leon was and now they're going to go for the gold mine as well. Cream trying to get in for this one, but hasn't had the best of games on this Arden thus far. He's 0 4. Hellfire comes out. Force to Cord is going to pull in Ponchik, and he's not going to survive for long. Cream gets taken out as well. Those Force of Cords have been absolutely on point from Emakin. The fight there. Ready for the fight. They're trying to get onto the fin. Iraqi Zoro off towards the side. Rap has to afterburn away. Now Cream the target. And Cream once again is going to get taken down here by Gangstar Cerberus. This is sixth death of the game. The thing about that force cord though is it's on a 30 second cooldown and it used both the crucibles and here comes the fight. Gauntlet is popped, Pornchik is already dead though, Rap has to afterburn away. Cream will leave the Gauntlet but the rest of Gangstars will keep on chasing him. He has no escape at all. Leon? Yeah, he can fight Rap. He, he can take out Rap. Force the cord comes out, Cream needs to use an early Gauntlet here. He needs to catch out members of 
Gangstar Cerberus, but that already low. The Fountain comes down. Gauntlet still six away, six seconds away from being available. And Cream is the target here for Gangstar Cerberus. Leon's going to tank up that tower for absolutely days. The Kraken keeps pushing. Raph has to retreat. And it looks like Gangstar Cerberus are going to take this best of three, two and oh. Once again with the Kraken. Once again with a dominant performance in this game. The Crystal will just about fall after they finish cleaning up SK Gaming. Gangstar Cerberus. Take it two and up. Oh.